All right, a little show and tell here. I have a package here from the Moon and the Maker. If you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that they make the Moonlight Duo hybrid pads. Duo in terms of hybrid ink color and white pigment ink pads. And those pads have been kind of a revelation for me, um, just in terms of finding out what those pads can do, but all, more so what I could do with those pads and in the way that I uh, uh, utilize media for um, my scenes. Okay, now we've done a little bit of a trade. I've sent them some of my um, uh, symmetry sheets and they have sent me some reinkers. Okay. And let's see, this one is the, uh, I think that's black. This is white right here, which I need. And they've also got some new stamps in production here. So let's take a look at, uh, well, let's start off with these inks here. I was talking about these inks. Now, one of the ways that you use these inks is you, you know, you can uh, ink up a, a stamp on this side right here, and then you can kind of, merge it with white pigment and giving you this multi-valued uh, multimedia uh, impression of whatever designs you're utilizing which is a kind of cool idea i've done that type of thing in the past you know but i've used separate ink uh, uh, ink pads for that you know one with color and then one with um just white dye base but I, you can't just go straight into you know your you know your regular white dye based ink so they have this dedicated one here for each color with the moonlight duos okay so anyways but these get quite polluted as you can imagine you know mixing the two of these together with your impressions so um let me see do i need to shake this up at all yeah shake it up and the way you clean these off is you just take a paper towel and you wipe that off yeah it, you know it might be stained a little bit but Otherwise, you know, not too bad. Okay, let's see. Get these flowing here. Huh, this ink's a little bit thinner than I would have thought unless I didn't shake it up enough. But um, uh, they asked me, um, you know, if I needed any uh, reinkers for anything. And I just said, you know, definitely the white. And then they sent me the uh, the reinker for the, uh, the blue here. In scenic snapping, of course. You know, it's just inevitable. You're going to use a lot of um, blue ink. And then in my process, um, the lighter values of blue are often the ones that get the most amount of coverage. So uh, I asked for one of those. Okay, but anyways, boy, that, lo that really cleans up a lot there. It's a lot whiter. There's still some of that stain in there, maybe underneath, but I would imagine that this is just kind of, I don't know, uh mixing that kind of out not really mixing it but um i don't know kind of dissipating that um ink down there so anyways that will come in handy or that will okay let's take a look here they have these kind of ink applicators now i haven't used these yet i think they sent me some other ones before i'll have to play around with these ones so these ones are little foam applicators for little tight detailed areas of course so I'll have to give that a try. It's this little um, kind of plastic straw type of thing with that little tip right there. I'll play around with that. One of the good things about this is maybe with the, some of these thicker styles of ink, I can apply some of that kind of an unreal textural form, you know, using some thicker media. So maybe I'll play around with that. But otherwise, I like using um, uh, alcohol inks with my dye-based inks, but maybe with the hybrid inks, you know, you need to go for a little bit of a thicker application. I always see like hybrid inks and pigment inks almost like using um, uh, paint in a way, you know, those things are so thick. Anyways, uh, these are some other types of uh, stamps right here. They have this set right here that looks pretty cool. <clears throat> I like using, you know, I, I told them I, I like using a lot of uh, celestial types of imagery here. And anytime you start using kind of these... Um, these images that have a little bit of a face to them, it really completely changes 
the spirit, the whole spirit of your um, of your uh, scene or whatnot. So these will be kind of cool to use. I always like these types of celestial types of things. Just this cool little tree here. I'm trying to think of some applications for something like that. The wave stamp right here, that's a hokusai, uh, you know, this Japanese woodblock print type of thing. I'll have to play around with that. I could definitely see using this one right here. This has some words on it. Maybe it's the moon that rules my wild soul. It's kind of this raven with this little star in it. So I'll play around with that too. So it's always fun getting some new designs to play around with. I want to thank uh, the moon and the maker, KB, for sending this to me. Little textural type of thing. Um, these little uh, designs like this are always like fun to use. They remind me of uh, some of my favorite companies out there um, of old. I don't know if they're still around. I guess they are. But like uh, Leavenworth Jackson um, had some really cool, um, you know, this kind of curated uh, collection of uh, kind of celestial types of imagery that I used quite a bit in my sister's favorite company. So, um, yeah, I will keep these all together in this plastic Ziploc bag that these came in. All right. So anyway, uh, quick video, well, unboxing here. I'm ready to start using those, the Total Eclipse Black. Yeah, I guess I need that one. I guess I do use that one a lot too, so I guess I did ask her for that one, so. Um, fantastic. Always like these reinkers for the colors that I especially use quite a bit of, so. Um, anyway. Thanks for watching. We'll have to play around with these soon. Anytime I start using those hybrid inks, I get kind of addicted to them, and I uh, usually uh, crank out two or three scenes using them, uh, you know, in a row or whatnot. But um, fun stuff. Can't wait to start playing around with it. Uh, and they will definitely come into play and be utilized very well. So thanks again. And... Uh, I would say if you have any questions, if you have any questions on these pads, you can drop me a note. I don't know about, I've never used the stamps before though, but um, uh, they do have, um, uh, the Moon and the Maker has um, the uh, instructions on uh, how to use these pads as well. But I can give you my feedback on uh, my usage of it as well. So anyways, rambling on here. Thanks again. Thanks again for tuning into the Stampscapes channel.